Hey girls and guys, I'm Alexia and today I'm going to show you how I treat my aquarium after a big water change. Unfortunately, I quite neglected this aquarium, so I decided to make today a very big uh, aquarium maintenance. First of all, I had to make some RO water. If you don't know what this means or you want to know more about RO water, just check the link above me. So after producing RO water, I started to clean up the glass and the stones of the aquarium. After this, I started the water change. But always, before I do the water change, I do the clean up. The reason is simple. If I clean down the algae and the microfilm from the glass and the stones, I want to get rid of them. That's the reason I made the water change. And after I started to clean all the things up, make new water, so I, I changed the water. I filled up the aquarium with the fresh RO water. I need to measure uh, specific stuff. First of all, I'm using a TDS measurement and I do measure the TDS rate. The total dissolved solids just show what it says. All the solids, the salts, the calcium, magnesium, everything which is in the water, you can measure. This is not a correct number about how high your GH, how high your KH and the other minerals are. This is just a summary about this. Uh, lower DDS is usually the softer water and the higher is the harder water. There is something very important to know about the RO water. If you measure it with a DDS measurement, then you will find out that it's usually between 4 and 10 ppm. But we need much higher or much higher compared to the arrow water. I usually try to measure and um, calculate my aquarium between 120 and 140 ppm. For this, I use in this case from Green, Green Aqua, the GH+. This way I'm adding more GH. I don't really need to add KH in this case here. This is not sponsored by anyone, but this is what I am using. You can try and use any kind of other GH um, products. You can find some uh, links down below uh, from other GH products, which may be very good for you as well. After I raised up the PPM rate, I started to fertilize back my aquarium. As I told you in the beginning, I unfortunately quite neglected this aquarium, so we got some of the algae back. For this reason, I've been using here now uh, from ADA the Piton kit, which may help you a little bit in, um, in getting less algae and in getting it in control. After I've been using uh, from Seachem the stability to get back some um, bacteria which may help you to build up and fight against all these bats. The next step is to add some exocarpo and at the end I've been fertilizing with Tropica. The reason I've been changing from everyday pumping in to weekly ones was that I got really a lot of algae and since I'm only pumping in once after each water change back to fertilization, I got much less algae. If you want to know more about the terms what GH, KH, TDS and PH means, then let me know in the comments below. If this episode was helpful for you, don't forget to hit the like button. Up here you will find a video about the RO water and just below you can find my tutorial playlist. I hope you like this one. I hope to see you soon again. Bye!